Hello, as you can see I'm under the umbrella. It's a wet day when I'm fishing is very muddy, but it's a mild day and that's what's brought me to the River Dove after perch. The peg that I'm fishing is a new one for me. I've never fished here before. When I walked the stretch some time ago, I did notice the peg though and made a mental note of it to return one day and do some perch fishing. It's on a bend and there's a counter flow so I'm actually fishing into um, the reverse flow of the river as it were but there's lots of overhanging willows and it looks very perchy. There are perch in the river dove of course and there are perch on this stretch because I've caught them but I don't know which particular pegs hold the fish so that's part of the fun of finding out. So I've got the day ahead of me it's still winter of course and the days are short but I was here at first light so I've got a good few hours fishing and the only way to really find out what a particular peg contains is to cast out, get in there and see what the river has in store. I've caught my first fish but it's not a perch, it's a grayling, Ooh, a very lively one as well, the lady of the stream. They're wonderful fish and you're always guaranteed to get amongst these no matter how difficult the conditions are. So there you go. <laughs> Doesn't want to be kissed. Mm -hmm. Let's put it back then. It's session two of the week. I've moved to the Staffs Worcestershire Canal. There's a particular peg that I haven't fished for many, many years but I have caught decent perch from here before so I decided to give this peg another go after all these years. I'm fishing one rod uh, with maggot to catch some gudgeon live bait. I've been successful and so pretty much from the start I've had uh, a gudgeon uh, live bait out there in the uh, swim. So hopefully it's a very mild day, hopefully I'll catch some, uh, some nice perch today. That would be great, particularly after my session on the Dove, which was very promising, but didn't produce any perch. As you can see from the photograph that's just appeared on the screen, I caught a, a perch, nice fish as well, so I'm very pleased with that. I did have a smaller one, about four ounces, about five minutes before that fish. But that one is uh, is a very good fish, so I'm, I'm I'm pleased with that. So it's been a it's been a good day already, and I've still got a few more hours to uh, to go. So let's see how the rest of the day goes. Probably all downhill from here. That's fishing for you. It's my third session of the week, and I'm back on the canal. And weather-wise, it's a very very different day to how it was a couple of days ago. I caught rudd. Last time out it was so mild, this time the easterly wind is kicking in and it's very very cold. I've had a few roach though early on on my float rod and put one of them on the uh, live bait setup and I had a run pretty much straight away uh, and then followed by another one, lost the first one, followed by another one which was a small pike. So that was a, a turn up for the books expecting a, a perch and ended up with a small pike. I'm ready to pack away now. It's a freezing cold day. The easterly wind has picked up and it's blown right into me. I've had a few runs on the live bait rod, but just the one small pike. You can read all the details of my week's angling on my angling journal website. The details are just about to appear on the screen right now. Have a good new year and why not subscribe to my YouTube videos and check out on a weekly basis what I get up to at the water's edge.